I can, you can too. We're here live at the Riding High Podcast Studios, and this is Riding High Podcast Sports coming in on YouTube and Twitch. Thanks to everybody that's tuning in and that's live streaming and is going to rewatch it later. I want to give you a big shout out. Today, we got a special guest. We got Jesus with Corpus Christi Originals in the building. He's going to come on in the show a little bit later on. We're going to talk to him. We're going to talk about all that really cool streetwear he'd be promoting. I know you see it all over TikTok, Instagram, on all platforms, Facebook. I know you see the stickers everywhere. And we're going to get we're gonna holler at him. He's going to give us a story. And it's going to be a really cool day. We got a lot of things to talk about. We're starting off the show tonight, though, with MLS, Major League Soccer, and some history that was made this past weekend. The Sacramento Republic FC, that's a second-tier team, was playing against the Las Vegas Lights, and they, on the 87th minute of that game, made history by by subbing in a 13-year-old, Davion Kimbrough, 13 years old, from Woodland, California, becoming the youngest player in MLS to actually play. It is on the second-tier level, which is kind of like the minors for soccer. Um, it's all good, though. He's still the youngest to do it. The f- only person to ever make it at the, fir- at the first tier and perform was Freddie Abdu. He was 14 years old, and that was back in 2004. Davion, he's got dual citizenship with USA and Mexico, and he actually plays for the Mexico U- uh, Youth 16 and Under team. So shout out to him. Thank you all, man, for tuning in. Still live. Well, we had some technical difficulties. Sorry about that. This episode of the Riding High Sports is brought to you by Slice Pizza. Everything you from your pizza needs for birthday parties, gender reveals, luncheon, work shit, or if you just want some catering done, hit them up at 361-910-3028. That's 361-910-3028. Talk to uh, Chef Surge or follow them on Eat Slice CCTX on IG or Slice Pizza on Facebook to find out where they're going to be located at. So we're going to jump right back into this. Um, Like I said, we got Corpus Christi Originals coming on a little bit later on the show, but we're going to go ahead and talk about some college student athletes and what the NCAA Division Council 1 has decided on today about the transfer portal. So transfer portal is usually where college kids, if they're at a school and they don't like it there, it's not working out for them, they hit the portal and then they go to a different school. Well, today the NCAA ruled that normally you usually have 60 days in each sport to use throughout the year to say, hey, I want to leave this school. Now, instead of having 60 days, you only have 45 days. They went ahead and minimized it. Um, To give you an example how it works, let's just take college football, for example. Usually, they have their first part of the transfer portal where you can declare and tell the NCAA you're leaving starts December 4th, and it would usually last 45 days after December 4th. This time, it's only going to be 30 days. The second time you can actually chance, uh, you have a chance to go ahead and enter that portal is in April 15th through the 30th. It's going to be 15 days again. But just to understand, they went ahead and canceled a set of it 60. Now it's 45. So like, like I said, as soon as they get to enter that portal, they get to talk to coaches and they get to leave whenever they want to leave. So it's October now. And well... Things starting to come up, and it's about to be fall. The leaves are starting to change. You know, Halloween's at the end of the year. NBA season's a couple weeks away. That's about to start kicking off. But another thing, the hunt for October, it's MLB postseason ball. You know, the playoffs start Saturday. Right now, the wild card games are going on. The, the, the winners from their division that are waiting teams for Saturday are actually the L.A. Dodgers, the Baltimore Orioles, The Houston Astros and the Atlanta Braves are all waiting this week to see who they're going to be playing. It's going to be that hunt for that world championship. And um, right now, actually, the Astros know they're going to play the Twins and the Orioles know they're going to play the Texas Rangers. So I'm kind of excited to see what the Houston Astros are going to do and what the Braves are going to do, because I think they're going to go pretty far. And man, it's going to be exciting to watch some good old baseball in October. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm about to bring in this special guest, man. His name's Jesus. He is the CEO. He is a trendsetter, streetwear. You've seen his stickers everywhere, his hats, his hoodies. You've seen Corpitos all over the place. Let me go ahead and welcome CC Originals, the man himself, Jesus. Come on in, man, to the show. What's going on, Jesus? What's going on, man? Man, I appreciate you for coming in, man. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Big fan, as you can tell. You can see that, you know, we we rocking that Corpus Christi (laughs) original wear right now, man. (laughs) So, man, for the viewers and the listeners out there that aren't familiar with you, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, myself, bro. Uh, shoot, I don't even know where to start. Um, shoot, for, I'm here from Corpus, bro. Just started the brand for for us originals that are here in Corpus. Uh, 
yeah, man, I just wanted to do that. And just uh, a lot of the stuff style that you see in the brand is stuff that I like. So, and there's a lot of people that resonate. We have had a real good response for Corpus Christi Originals. But yeah, man, I, I really dig the city and, and the stuff that I'm doing for it. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing it, man. That's awesome. So you're, you're from Corpus. You, you grew in here, you went to school here, lived here your whole life. Yeah, yeah. So I went to, uh, let's see, for elementary, went to Wilson Middle School, Winseal. And then uh, senior year, Ray, and then Miller and then graduated Miller. from Miller. All right, yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah. So you're a buck. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Um, when did you first get the I, first idea that you wanted to start um, this brand, uh, Corpus Christi Originals? Uh, man, I think I started maybe like a year or two ago. And I just, I don't know. I wanted to start a brand to start out with. And I didn't know what to come up with. I, and so I was hearing a lot of advice from people like, you know, start with your city. So I, that's what I was just like, all right, let me start with my city. And that's just kind of where it started. Um, and and a lot of the it, when I started it, when I put it like on social media, I didn't want it to be like real like uh, sponsory. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So so that's when I was just like, you know, what? let me just put people from Corpus that and put them on there. You know what I mean? And just shout them out. And that would help the brand out. Uh, but yeah, I, that's where it started just to, I wanted to do a brand and then I was just like, okay, let me just start with my city. That's what's up. That's great. Now, what, what year did you start? Man, I, I want to say like two years ago in August, in October. Uh, yeah, that's when I, it was like maybe, a, maybe a year after COVID, it, COVID had just died down and then everybody was starting to open back up. I think that's when I had started. So that October, 2021. Yeah, I think time. so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it, it just started like the COVID really didn't do it really didn't hit me that that much because I, I was still working. I mm -hmm. Luckily, I was still able to work through that. Uh, but, yeah, that's just when it started. Um, I was just doing a bunch of research online, like trying to figure out little, basically how to do side, like side hustles. And, you know what I mean? Because I still have a day job and all that. But that's when I, I just decided, like, let me just do let me try some mountain. That, that's how I landed on it. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So what was your very first Corpus Christi original item that you put out there that it was like, this is the very first thing that <laughs> this is my baby. This is it. You know, <laughs> uh, what was it? It was, it was first, it was the sugar skull. Uh -huh. uh, I had the sugar skull tea. That was the very first one that I did. Uh, the reason why I did that one is because like the, the culture that I come from, it's like Mexican or Mexican American or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Right. Uh, that was, I didn't get too much, too much of a response with that one. Uh, so then I came out with the brain waves t-shirt There's a skull with the waves. And the whole story behind that is that like people from Corpus, like we know about the beach, we've been to the beach at least once in our life, mo yeah, uh, hopefully, yeah. you know, so th I had that idea. So that one was started selling. And then the one that came after that was the, uh, the Texas, uh, Corpito skull, the guy with the hat, the cap, you know, mm -hmm. that one has a, had a tremendous response and it still does to this day. So people like that one. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's uh, what I had come out with and just my designs are coming out slowly right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of a, like on coast mode. So I'm just kind of selling my old designs for now, but in the future, we'll get some good ones coming out. That's good, man. And, um, you know, the, the school candy, the Corpitos one, you mm -hmm. know, that was one actually my favorite. Yeah. That's actually on my car. I have it as a sticker nice. and, uh, man, I, I do love your, your designs and it does feel like you're capturing the essence of here in the coastal bend in the three, six, one area. What is your process when it comes to like you you actually designing these things? Like, yeah. is there a certain thing that you usually do and follow it, or is it just an inspiration that hits you? Like, how do you go about doing that? Yeah, I, I'm glad you mentioned that about uh, like that. What kind of vibe you get from it, man? Because that that feedback helps. Um, when I first started making the design, just wanted to make stuff that I like mm -hmm. and then throw it out there, and hopefully, there's other people that can relate to it. And which it's 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 been a tremendous response. The way I come up with the designs, like I just get if I get uh, ideas online. Mm -hmm. Like if I find, I'll, I'll go to like Shutterstock or I'll go to in bottle elements or whatever, and just, just find the stuff, find that stuff. And I'll just piece a bunch of stuff together. Like, Oh, that would be cool. You know what I mean? And that's how, that's how I do it. I mean, I'm not really a designer, like from <laughs> art school or nothing yeah, like that, yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? But that's, that's how I put it together. Hey man, well, it looks like you are because those things come out nice. Appreciate man, it. <laughs> I, I, I really like that. Um, yeah, so I, I am digging the new hat. I like I like how it is. Um, where where can you find that hat? Where can they find Corpus Christi Originals? Yeah, just corpuschristioriginals.com. Uh, we also have a Instagram shop. You can do it on there so that we don't have to leave the app on Instagram. But yeah, corpuschristioriginals.com, man, that's where you can get it. Yeah, I know. I see a lot of your TikToks. You're always, I, mm -hmm. it's like every day you, you do, you, I like those videos you do where you're uh, packaging mm. uh customer, especially like out of town or out of state or anywhere and 
you give them a shout out. You always throw them some stickers and whatever mm-hmm. they're getting. Um, you 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 have the hoodies available for this fall coming up uh, in the winter. Yeah, that's good feedback. Yeah. Uh, yes, I got three hoodies right now. There's the black original one, uh, and then I got the vintage Corpus Christi hoodie, and then I got the gray, like the sport gray with the with the black Corpus Christi originals, uh, logo. But yeah, definitely we got. Awesome. And then on the podcast, where can they find the podcast at? The podcast, you just uh, you can search Corpus Christi Originals podcast on Google. Uh, or it's Corpus Christi Originals on Spotify, Spotify, you know, wherever you can find it. Very cool, man. I, I, I mean, I like, I, like I said, I do enjoy those uh, TikToks of you packaging up those. Uh, I mean, the orders yeah. for your customers. And oh yeah, that's real cool because you give them a shout out and you know you say this is where it's going, so they know where the you know that CCO yeah. is going to be repped at, and that's a pretty sweet deal. Yeah, uh, the reason I, I the reason another reason I did that, bro, is because I don't want to I don't want my brand to be like a like a commercial. Yeah, you know what I mean, and and it helps you generate content. It helps like with the uh, how do you say user awareness or mm-hmm. whatever like that. Social, I guess social credit. I'm not sure what you call it, just to let people know. Like like p- other people are buying it. You know what I mean. So shipping it out, it helps. It helps out with the brand, to be honest. You yeah, know what I mean? it's real. Like uh, you know, you're giving out product information and mm. showing them how to like really. Um, what what your brand's about, what it is. Yeah. It's not just <coughs> like excuse me, like you said. Mm-hmm. where it's something on the shelf, don't know nothing. It's like, you feel it. You yeah. have a vibe. It's an essence. Um, the clothes are awesome. Please, y'all go check them out. CorpusChristiOriginals.com. Yeah. The hats, the hoodies, the stickers. He will take care of you. But we're going to jump into some more uh, sports right now. We're going to talk about the NBA. And it's been a crazy week with the <laughs> yeah. NBA. Um, there's been a lot of trades going on. They just had media day. There's a lot of new faces to a lot of new teams. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard, but uh, Chris Paul's with the Golden State Warriors. Mm. A lot of people, since the pictures when he came out, there was a lot of people looking like, ooh, Yo. it's going to be, it's gonna Yo, be kind of crazy, real. right? Wow. It is. Um, Damian Lillard, he's with the Bucks. Mm. It's going to be Giannis, the Greek freak, Damian Yo. Lillard. And they're going to have a super team. They're going to be very fun to watch. Uh, Drew Holiday was traded to the Blazers, but then got traded again. And this dude got traded twice within the week. Oh. Uh, he's at he now he's with Boston. He's at the Celtics. Whoa. Um, so a lot of new faces to a lot of new teams. Drew Holiday with the Celtics, Damian Lillard with the Bucks, Chris Paul with the Golden State Warriors, the Suns, they still got Booker, you know, Kevin Durant, and they got Bill. They got the big three. We're gonna see what they can do. Can they oh. finally make it over the hump? You, Jesus, nice. um, do, you, do you have a favorite NBA basketball player? Man, you already know. Uh, yeah. I got to bring out MJ. Okay, okay. Uh, my Jordan, Michael Jordan. The GOAT. The GOAT. I, yeah, I'm a 90s kid. So, yeah. uh, man, he, he, the Bulls, you know what I mean? He winning all them championships and all that stuff. But I just heard, I just read something about MJ, uh, what, three three billion? Uh he reached the three billion mark or whatever. Yeah, he's a three billion man. He got three. He got three B's under his belt, oh, dude, man. Bro. Um, he he really did. It's a. Uh, it's crazy. I I love. I'm also a big Jordan fan. All oh, right. Because I you know same grown not yeah, 90s. Yeah. Um, Jordan was the man to me. He is the goat. I have him at number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, six rings, MVP. Um, dude was a all star in everything. Yeah. Never lost. Never went back to game six in the finals. Um, I hit three peat back to back. That's it's Jordan was yeah, and his shoes, dude. He Come was, on, yeah, he he was like so he was like so into what he was doing, bro. Like he got all the team, and like uh, just even the story between like him and Rodman and Pippen, mm-hmm. how they would get Rodman on board, and like they would they wouldn't even talk to them. They said, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They would, they would only talk to him on the court, and you know, just to be able to get along with that type of dude with with your work, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And bring and bring him as a team. I thought that was pretty cool about Jordan, um, and I didn't find that find this out till later. Um, but yeah, and a lot of people bring LeBron in the question. Yeah, you know they I mean? do. They, they, they bring do. with they Jordan do. or whatever. And I don't know. I, I it seems like I got more respect for Jordan because of the, the way he played and how he was with his team and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And with LeBron, it seems like he's a little bit more not that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not not to not to bash you, LeBron. No, guys, no, Le- but, yeah, no, LeBron. We we love yeah. you, LeBron. <laughs> you uh, you are, you, man. You're yeah. one of the best oh, athletes definitely. ever play any sport i mean the dude is i mean he, he's a crazy specimen he he jumps out the wall oh, yeah. he goes i mean he's this old he's still playing at a high level yeah. i just always put jordan because i saw jordan growing up and in that era the way they play defense and how physical it was mm-hmm. it was always going to be jordan for me yeah um just watching him three peat oh yeah and see how it was and just man he would he, he was just a different type of yeah. animal it was, the only, a, it was a different time you know what i mean it was yeah. a different time we saw different than what we see now uh, times are definitely changing. Yes, they are. Speaking of times that are changing, I don't know if you saw during the NBA media day. Um, we're gonna put put this up. Jimmy Butler. 
<laughs> Jimmy Butler showed up at media day and he wasn't normally dressed how Jimmy Butler dressed. He decided to be a little different, to decide like he looked like he just walked out of a hot topic. Looked like he was just, I don't know, he he was listening to Newfound Glory or something <laughs> in the morning and then decided to have a, a art change. Uh, yeah. If you can see, man, what do you, but you being the street guy, yeah. you a uh, streetwear, you, uh, you know, your style, <laughs> what do you think of his fit and would you rock it? Are you supporting it? What's up with it? I don't know, man. It, it, it For me, it's just like, do what you, of course, do you, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how I see it. And if he wants to do that, go ahead and let him do it. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely all black. I always like black. I always wear black. So uh-huh. I would probably sport something black for sure. Yeah, you would sport something black. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know. About, I mean, I don't have enough hair to be able to let it sway Man, to the he, top, to he, the side, you know? He definitely let that hair. <laughs> he let it, he out, let it right? down. He yeah. did it loud. It was very simple. What, what was that other, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know, some good Charlotte vibes yeah. or, you know. It was I'm just, trying to think of one. I can't I, think I, of it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it AFI or something like that? You know, like, it was just like, it was crazy. Crazy, but you know, I, I'm glad you say you know at least you know yeah. you're comfortable in your own clothes oh, yeah. and what you're doing, and it's very much to how you put out your brand. Yeah. You know, you just got to be you, and he, he, I guess he rocked it that day. Amen. He made heads turn, that's for sure. Oh, for sure, man. He, he definitely made some heads turn, yeah. and that I just can't stop laughing. <laughs> at that. Yeah. A lot of people making fun of him and stuff, bro. I mean, maybe it's a, for me. I'm like thinking about the marketing side. Uh-huh. Of course, he's a brand in himself. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So maybe he's just doing it for that, or maybe he's just doing it for himself. I mean, it's whatever, bro. Like, he's he's like got like so much money, man. Mm-hmm. If he's if he's gonna do it like that, just let him do it. You know what I mean? If if it's a marketing tactic, if it's not, you don't you don't know what what he's thinking. You of know? Of course, of course. Would you ever do something like that for a marketing, um, a marketing tactic? I mean, <laughs> I, I wouldn't like betray my myself i guess you could say you know what i mean um but i mean i don't know maybe if i had that much money maybe i don't know (laughs) okay okay well speaking of some first and still speaking on the clothes and the nba it happened it was it was announced a couple days ago mr beast youtube's mr beast man are you familiar with him yep well, he is now became the first focus influencer partnership with the NBA. Mm-hmm. He is partnered up with the Charlotte Hornets, and he has the rights for sponsorship for the 2023-2024 season with the patch logo. Mm. So now when the Charlotte Hornets play, yep. um, you're going to see Jordan on one side, and you're going to see Feastables, oh. the other patch on the other side. Yep. Um, for the whole season, and then when they do news conferences as well, mm-hmm. it'll also be in the background. Oh, so, nice! And um, the one thing you said, you know, the reason why MJ has a three billion dollars oh, sh- a couple months ago, he sold his share of the Charlotte Hornets. Wow! Um, this is actually the owners, the new owners, their very first real big announcement or wow. big deal is with Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, and this is their very first thing. So it looks like the new ownership is trying to go in that you know social media influencer oh, yeah. direction when it comes to ad, especially Mr. Beast. He's I mean, he, he, oh, yeah. he's a marketing genius, and oh, what really? he does is he's really good at. My question to you would be, how do you feel if maybe one day Cor- uh, Corpus Christi Original is sponsoring um, like a surfer, a skater, or even a team? Do you ever, would you ever do something like that? Yeah, for sure, uh, especially if they're from Corpus, man, definitely. Uh, I like when musicians, artists, or whoever from Corpus uh, doing it, making it, doing their thing, man. I'll definitely support them for sure, man. I mean, I still try to support them to this day, you know what I mean, to, to the extent that I can. Uh, just because I see him trying to do something for themselves. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I would definitely do something like that. And Mr. Beast, like this guy, like I said, times are changing, man, and, and teams got to look out, look to, to other avenues because it used to be just television, you know, mm-hmm. and now it's freaking social, social media and everything. And Mr. Beast, he's got a 188 million subscribers, bro, on YouTube. Like, imagine the reach that his brand at, can put uh, the Hornets out there, you know what I mean? So it's actually a good thing. And, yeah, definitely. I would uh, I would consider it, you know, especially if they're from Corpus. Like, imagine, bro. <laughs> That'd be awesome, dude. That'd be really cool to see you like put your spot, you put Corpus Christi Originals, and like, let's say we have a, a like a local surfer or, or skater yeah. or even anybody that's you know um, trying to you know go to the next level for D one or actually like a, a, a professional athlete to see them rock a Corpitos hat on their head yeah. in an interview <laughs> or you know anything. Yeah. I, I, I would definitely be on board. I mean, with if, like if, that. if if I. If I had the, like, I never really, t- I haven't really taught that far, bro. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, like, if I had the resources, I would. In fact, there, there's a boxer from Corpus. He was asking me to help promote, you know, to, to promote, like, with, for, for, with, you know, to throw money at, you know, yeah. for him. You know what I mean? I was like, dude, I really can't right now. I wish I could, you mm-hmm. know. But to be able to get to that point, that, I think that would be uh, pretty, pretty cool to get there. You know what I mean? To, to be able to sponsor and just, you know, give them some money for whatever they need, you know. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. I, I haven't really thought that far, but it would be pretty cool to get there. That's what's up. I mean, I, I can tell from your work ethic and how you be working on social media mm. and it's the way you put out stuff. Man, you'll get there. You're going to get there. I think, I, I think I Corpus Christi it. Originals are going to get there, and one day you're going to be able to be the sponsor, you know, a boxer, a yeah. team, anything. And, you know, I, be, I believe in you, man, for coming, appreciate especially, it. you know, your vibe and the way you give out to the, back to people and you're always doing your raffles. Appreciate I can tell it. you, you got that work ethic to hit Thanks, it. Thanks, man. I think I you're going to do it very well. Now, I know you're not really, really big into, you know, mm -hmm. football, football, but, you know, I, every every week I have some guests. They're going to help me pick some games All to right. see if they win or lose, oh, right? Um, we're going back from last week. I went two and four. I ended up losing the two game. And four. I mean, yeah, oh, I went shoot. up two and four. Um, I, yeah. So I, yeah, Canelo ended up being Charlo. Canelo, Canelo beat Charlo. <laughs> I got that one right. Uh, DJ Little King picked Charlo to win. He was lost <laughs> on that one. He did pick the Bills over Miami. I picked Miami over Yo. the Bills. He got me on that one. That's the one I lost. <laughs> Miami just lost it completely. Oh, uh, their players did help put up some fantasy points. So if I told you to put, you know, the people in there, I hope you put them in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then Detroit versus Green Bay went ahead, and I got that win on Detroit. Mm. Uh, DJ Little King lost that one. He went one and three for the week. <laughs> so that brings up the total right now. I believe, what's that, two? Two, four. So I'm four and six right now. And then nice. it's going <laughs> four and six. <laughs> and then four and six as well for my guests. Uh, right. We tied up today. We got four games to pick on. So you can help lead the guests to a, <laughs> large, a larger victory. No pressure, or, right? Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> or I would, you know, try to redeem. I'm trying to, you know, break that breakaway, you know. So um, this week is the Red River Rivalry. Mm -hmm. well, it's a tongue twister. It's in Dallas. The State Fair is going on it's there right now. It is number three, Texas, versus number 12, Oklahoma Sooners. Who do you got to win? You know I got Texas, bro. You got Texas, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I don't need to ask anyone else in the room. <laughs> We know where their votes are, oh, but yeah. uh, he's got Texas. That's what's up. I'm actually picking Oklahoma to win this one. Mm. <laughs> if y'all can see the oh, vulgar language <laughs> and things that are being pointed to me right now, I, you, you have no idea. I have to get Gary from HR to come over here really quick. Um, but, <laughs> you know, so, but I, I have Oklahoma. I think it's going to be a really good game. It's going to be, I feel like this is the best game of the weekend. Mm. It's actually two teams in the top 15, number three, Texas, number 12, Oklahoma. I got Oklahoma going into the SEC, you know, Southeastern Conference mm -hmm. where these teams will actually be there next year. Texas and Oklahoma, they're going to be there, but we're going to talk about number 23 LSU and number 21, the Missouri Tigers. Mm. Who do you got? Wow. So Missouri's five and zero. Oh. LSU's three and two. Oh yeah, yeah. He, okay, you did some. How he, he, he knows some sports. Like, he, <laughs> he, he, don't settle yourself short. Look at you. There you bro, go. Don't give me that much credit, bro. I looked it up before I came on the <laughs> no, show. No, no, no. Don't tell me about it. No, no, no. <laughs> no, nah, yeah. I, 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 I go for the underdog. Uh -huh. uh, I, I really don't follow it this too much. But three and two LSU. I think they can beat Missouri simply because they're the underdog. I, if I look at it like that. They'll win. They're 23, so they're ranking 23 LSU, and Missouri is ranked 21. Yeah. So they're right close to each other. Yeah, so are. you never know, man. They could pull, like, something Hail Mary or something at the end of the game. I don't know. So you're going with LSU? LSU. All right, guess locked it down for LSU. I do like that pick. I think also LSU is yeah. going to beat Missouri. Think so? Yeah, I do too. I think mm. uh, they're building on their momentum, and I think they're going to just go ahead and just, like, Cakewalk. Yeah, I, I, I think. Oh, yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure nice. if it's gonna be a cake cakewalk, but I have. A, I think I have them up by ten. I think they win by ten, mm. and I got LSU on that one as well. All right, going over here, Notre Dame, number ten, Notre Dame versus number twenty three, Louisville. Who do you got? Mm, man, I, I say Louisville. Louisville, of course. Like I said, I mean they're ranked twenty five. Notre Dame's ranked ten. Uh, their records are really close. Notre Dame's had a, a one more game than them, it seems like. Uh -huh. it. So maybe Louisville will be fresh going in. Uh, maybe they got some good stuff going on. So hopefully Louisville. Okay. Uh, I'm going with number 10, Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame is going to beat them. Mm. Um, ever since they lost to Ohio State a couple weeks ago, I feel like they got a fire under their belt. Now they're just ready to push it. Last week they did a great job to battle with Duke. That was a really oh. tough game. Um, ended up coming up and winning that quarterback. He's showing persistence. Mm. He's showing determination. I think Notre Dame goes and beats Louisville. Last game we got for the game of the week. Um, we're going into NBA. The preseason actually starts tomorrow. It's an Abu Dhabi game. It's uh, going to be the Dallas Mavericks versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's at 11 a.m. on NBA TV. Mm. 
I already know. I guess you're going with the Mavericks. Yeah, I mean, so I'm looking at so looking at the stats here. I don't know if it's true. They played in February. They played yeah last year. Year, so, well, la- they, yeah last year. So it'd been the last season. And like, by three points they yeah. lost. So I mean, I go to I gotta go for the Mavs, bro. Dude, Texas, of course. Texas, of course. Of course. No, I'm actually picking the Mavericks for the first preseason game as well. I think it's a good time to see. Kyrie Irving and Luca see if they can mm. actually build up that chemistry mm. see if they can get that started so when the season oh, yeah. does start they're already in the role and they're actually going to be that double you know wambo combo that'll actually be able to take over the game like they wanted to last year but really couldn't get it down mm. I feel like this starts them and they're going but yes yeah, so we'll both pick the Mavericks nice. those are the picks for the game of the week we're going to see how we do next week against the guests I'm pretty sure Corpus Chris Rizzo got some good wins he did we did pick <laughs> the same Next, we're gonna come up to you know it's that time, man. It's that it's that it's that parlay picks. It's that gambling. Now it's up to you. These are just my suggestions. Do not go waste your light bill money, your rent money on this. <laughs> you, the money you was gonna use to buy corporate Christian original. Like go ahead, <laughs> um, you know, bet at your own risk. But in the words of the famous TJ, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. You know what I mean? You gotta risk it for the biscuit. And these are my parlay picks. We're going to go ahead and show them right now. It's going to be for Thursday Night Football, like always. It's the Bears versus the Commanders. First one I got is the Washington quarterback, Sam Howe. I have him over on 30 and a half pass attempts. Mm. He has actually covered this line the last three out of the four games. Last week, he had 38 attempts. This week against the Bears, I think he's going to throw about 31, 32. I do think it's going to be up there. So I have Sam Hell, Washington quarterback, over 30 and a half pass attempts. Number two is I got Cole Kemet, the Chicago tight end. The Chicago Bears tight end. He's on the line for three receptions. I think he's going to have more than three receptions. I'm giving them five. They like to trust their tight end. Bears, though, have Justin Fields as a quarterback. We'll see how well it is. He did have a bounce back week last week. He actually did well in the first half. He was almost 11 for 11 with the two touchdowns. Really great. I, a lot of that had to do with Cole, so I think he goes over three receptions. Number three, the Washington running back, Brian Robinson. They got him at 64 and a half yards for the game. I obviously think they're gonna. he's going to go over that. The reason why I have it, let's be this real. It's the Bears they're playing against. The Commanders are going to be winning against the Bears. They are going to be in the lead. When it comes down to that fourth quarter, I'm pretty sure they're just going to be running the ball to get out of a clock. Mm. They're probably going to hand it to Robinson, and by the end of the night, watch, you got like 99, almost 100 yards Ooh. because they're just going to just try to eat that clock up. Nice. Number four for the Washington wide receiver, I have John, uh, Johan Dotson, 45, 42 and a half yards. I have him over. Uh, the Bears are really going to be focused on McLaren, so it's going to leave Dotson a lot wide open. So they're going to be double team him. Dotson, I think, is going to get over those 42 and a half yards. I, I think I'm going to I'm going to guess and go six yards for 70 yards. I mean, six catches for 70 yards and maybe one touchdown. Mm. And then the fifth and final one for this parlay, the over under on the game is 44 and a half points. I'm going the over on this one. I think it's going to end up around 48 points. This uh, The simulators mm-hmm. have done it over 100 times. They're showing like around 47, around 47 and a half. So I'm going to take that over. It's That's plenty of points to give. I think <laughs> Vegas is kind of messing up on that one. So those are my parlay picks. You think you're gonna you gonna bet anything? You gonna nah, do something? No, nah, I'm good right now. All right, all right. Good, <laughs> save, save that money. Save that money. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. So, Jesus, again, before we get up on out of here and everything, yeah. tell us some again. Where can they find you? Where can they get your stuff? Where can they listen to your podcast? Talk to the viewers. Let them know. Yeah, just search Corpus Christi Originals on Google. CorpusChristiOriginals.com. Uh, yeah, you can find me there on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. The the main three Corpus Christi Originals, and you'll find me there. And that was the new. That's the newest hat, right? It's the newest hat right here. Yeah. And then you also had a hoodie on or a hoodie. So yeah, I got a hoodie. Um, the retro hoodie is the newest one that I got out. Um, the other hoodies are the ones that I've already had so far. What's the one you got with you? Is that the so, one? So yeah, this is just the the original one that. Yeah, I have. show them. Go ahead, yeah. show it out still. Yeah. So the original one that I had. This Put is actually mine. I wasn't sure it's gonna be cold today. So. Uh yeah, there's the original logo that we had, Put it down right there. there. Yeah, that's the first one that it came out, but the actual logo that I have now is it's different. It's got like a rose skull on it, but this is the the original original, original one that we the had. OG one. Yeah, the, the OG, OG one. It's OCC. all right. <laughs> Watch it's the all right. Stuff. No worries. Yeah. Awesome, man. All right. It's your boy Can Two. It's Can 
If I can, you can too. I want to give another special shout out to Slice Pizza. This is coming. This is coming from you, Riding High Sports. This episode's coming from Slice Pizza for all your pizza needs. If you need them for birthday parties, gender reveals, work luncheons, or any type of catering, call 361-910-3028. That's 361-910-3028. Reach out to Chef Surge or follow them on Eat Slice CCTX on Instagram or Slice Pizza on Facebook to see where they're going to be posted up at their locations. I want to thank you again for our sponsors that came for this the Riding High Sports podcast coming out of Riding High Podcast Studios. If you want to be a sponsor, hit us up in our DM. One of our staff members will reach back out to you and we could talk some stuff. Till then, shout out to Freak Behind the Camera, Alex Skates that's here in the building, DJ Little King also in the back, and my special guest, man, Jesus, Corpus Christi Originals. Thank you for coming. This is Can 2. If I can, you can too, and we out.